And now, KITV4 weather. Still dealing with a flash flood watch out there for the northern end of the island chain. This is going to continue through at least late this evening. Stay monitored for the later forecast because flash flooding could develop. So be prepared and ready to take quick action because if a flash flood warning does develop, you're going to need to move to higher ground, especially if you're in those low lying areas. Last night, quite the show with thunderstorms, brief heavy downpours. This is out towards Ko'olina. Continue to send in your weather photos and videos of what's going around in your neighborhood at ulocal at kitv.com. Some ponding on the roadways. We're also dealing with quite a bit of potholes, rock slides, mud slides. So again, take extra caution on our roadways. We are dealing with this storm system that's really blocking out any high pressure from developing, dragging up the south to southeasterly winds. It's that humid, sticky, deep tropical air and moisture that's coming through, mainly uh, kind of meandering over the northern end of the island chain, though Maui County and the Big Island will still deal with some scattered shower activity, some of it locally heavy, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two, but the focus of all this wet weather is going to be for Kauai and Oahu with another batch rolling in for the mid-morning hours. We're looking at persistent steady weather in the moderately intense range, though we are tracking some heavier showers to continue. Now, if you track our rain forecast, unfortunately, the Wednesday timestamp kind of skips over, but we are going to start to break apart as far as this moisture goes and go into somewhat of a drying trend gradually Wednesday into Thursday. As far as our surf, probably going to want to stay out of the water because we have box jellyfish up as well as brown water advisories. We're going to still get about three to seven if you do care about the heights. More reinforcements towards the weekend and the start of next work week, and that's when we're looking more promising as far as those water conditions go. Though we don't have any marine warnings south to southeasterly knots right around 25, wind waves up to 9 feet. And going into today's forecast, very cloudy, a good mix of high and low clouds. We're going to have that persistent wet weather with locally heavy showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two, and changes into the next eight days. South to southeasterly winds are going to get a little bit lighter here in the coming days. Hey, will probably stick around until Thursday. Then we're finally going to shift to trades. Probably not enough to blow out all the New Year's fireworks smoke, but by the start of next work week into our New Year forecast, moderate to breezy weather should make a comeback. So we just have to get through the next few days of some very wet weather that could lead to flooding. Take extra caution, but into the New Year, forecast starting off nice with more sunshine.